Well, now uh, here at the Shell Echo Marathon in Houston, we are with Normal Cock, who is the, the technical manager for the whole event globally, right? That is correct. So you will make sure that these kids who are amazing already, they make uh, comply with all the rules, which I think it's it's pretty pretty strict, right? Yes, we have a rule framework over 50 odd pages and the rules are set out to make sure that the teams that compete here at the Shaliko Marathon are safe and that they compete fairly with each other. And that is spelled out in some 60 odd articles in the rules. Yeah, and uh, so basically there are different categories for gas, for diesel, for uh, fuel cell cars. And um, what are the, the most innovative things that you've been seeing through the years in this event? I think it would take a very long time to list all the innovative things I've seen in this event. Most, I said. Yeah, but um, I'm always amazed and impressed by students that come up with ideas that are simple and yet effective. Yeah. But then it's also the long end of innovation. I mean, we are seeing teams who are, for instance, um, develop their own bearings, like very, very low friction needle bearings, which uh, when you give a front wheel a good spin of those cars, it spins for about 10 to 15 15 minutes. Wow. That is efficiency. Exactly. So, and uh, we're talking about uh, different applications of different fuels. Uh, how many are there? Six? Six possible combinations? The students here at the Shaliko Marathon Americas can start with six different types of energies from gasoline and diesel over a biofuel like ethanol and GTL, gas to liquid, and two electric categories battery electric and uh, hydrogen fuel cell. Yeah. So, when you go through the inspection, what kind of things are you looking for? for here. The first thing we check in inspection is whether a car is safe and we make sure that the brakes work, that the safety harness works, uh, that the car is stable and secure in itself. And then we check in the technical inspection whether there are any hidden energy sources. It would be wrong to say that many students try to cheat, but I think there is clearly the ap my nature. <laughs> <laughs> but there is clearly the appetite to be very creative and very yeah. innovative and often the line between creative Creativity and novelty and cheating is a fine line and we just want to make sure that all competitors have fair conditions yeah and uh, so these cars obviously are prototypes I mean they come with amazing amazing numbers uh, here in the States this event is going on for eight years but in Europe it's been for 30 years already and like the numbers are even more impressive than the ones we've here and here about like 500 miles per gallon something like that right Yes, the, the European event has been going on for 30 years now and uh, many universities have had it in their curriculum for many years. So it starts with the first year students who already work on small assignments until they become graduate students and field a team at the event. Here in the US we have seen a uh, great improvement from the first event uh, eight years ago to today. And today uh, US teams here achieve something like 1500 miles to the gallon with their teams which is very very um, impressive already yeah and uh, to understand it more like in, in, in a simpler way you say here in Houston we have a track that is about a mile more or less and they go t nine ten laps and how much fuel they consume <laughs> for those things um, just just to give an, a rough indication um, here in Houston the teams have to run 10 laps of a 0.6 mile track okay so they have to compete about six miles and top teams consume as little as five to six milliliters of fuel this is about as much as fits on a tablespoon oh, that's amazing so what does this tell you tell us for the, the whole industry for like people buying cars and mobility in the future I mean it's, it's it's pretty amazing when you see kids especially kids like 15 years old doing these amazing things what what is like the whole message of this thing yeah. I think what the Shell Eco Marathon tells me is that there is a great potential for our future engineers out there. These kids that participate today in the Shell Eco Marathon, they are the engineers of the futures. They build you and my car uh, in 20 or 30 years time. And I, I think it looks very positive. If we imagine the energy challenge that we have, that we need to achieve more energy with less CO2, then the potential that is working here today will yeah, realize this and I think I, there's nothing but a bleak future. There is, I think, a very positive future. Absolutely. So with your expertise, with your experience uh, going through this thing for many years, what would you vision that car in like, let's say 2020, which is not far away, or 2025, mm. let's say? I think 
Personally, there is no single car in the future. I think the future will have an even greater energy mix than we see today. I think there's no single silver bullet in terms of energy choice. I think each energy, and maybe many more than we see here today at the Shell Eco Marathon, will contribute to it. And each, of, each and every energy will have its own application. And um, so, uh, what about mobility on its own? Because, I mean, it, there are cities that it's getting like too crowded. I mean, like, so what do you think in, in terms, like, we see these little cars that hold one, one person, the prototypes, and they can go for a very long time. What do you see in those terms of uh, public, um, uh, individual transportation, let's say? Mm. I mean, clearly the Shell Eco Marathon is a, a program with a limited framework to allow students to participate without millions and millions of dollars yeah. of budget. Uh, there is clearly a responsibility in the industry as well to develop new cars, to develop mobility solutions that also carry more people, that carry load. And uh, in that area, I'm not the right person to ask. I, I work um, in an energy company and how the future car looks like in terms of the features it has. Uh, that is certainly in the question that an automotive manufacturer can answer a lot better yeah well um, so this uh, event uh, I heard you're gonna add another category for next year Yes, we try to respond to the interest of the students and the universities where they do their research in and of course we try to follow the trends in the automotive industry and next year as of 2015 we will be adding a uh, compressed natural gas category so students can then choose to compete in six and seven different, seven different uh, energies adding uh, CNG compressed natural gas. Well it's pretty exciting stuff and I, it's pretty encouraging seeing these uh, young kids doing the, the work that you do and like um, I'm, I'm sure they happy to hear well sometimes not very happy to hear when, when you tell them that's wrong but like to hear from an expert such as you about what, what they are doing right yeah a general generally I'm, I'm, I'm glad to say that the appreciation of the students at the event is very very high because here they get in touch with industry experts here they get the opinion and the views and also the help of industry experts that at their university they may not always have access to and this is let's not forget the highlight of their student year they work for a whole year on this and here is where the rubber hits the road literally yeah. and here where all their ideas and their creativity comes to fruition and they see a real result because whether you achieve 200 or 2000 miles per the gallon this is an achievement a huge achievement for any student Excellent. Norman Koch uh, the technical director for the Shell Eco Marathon thank you very much for your time and we're going to keep enjoying the show here thank, thank you, you. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.